Hello there, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Minifig1210, and I'll be your host for this newest edition of 3 Easy Mods. And today, we'll be taking a look at the Imperial Armored Marauder. Now, while overall, this is a pretty solid set, from a display standpoint, there's a lot of things wrong with it. First and foremost, there are going to be those front cannons there. Stud shooters are great play features, but on display, they look really oversized for what they're supposed to be. Also, the cannon on the back here does look pretty unsightly. I mean, it's really short and stubby there when it should be a nice, you know, big cannon that we see in the show. And the range of motion on this thing is pretty much none. I mean, you can turn it slightly side to side, but you can't actually move it up and down or get the full 360 degrees motion that we see in the show. And then finally, of course, the doorway. You can't fit a minifigure through it. Come on, the box art clearly shows you being able to fit a minifigure through it. But of course, this is Lego after all, so let's fix these problems with three easy mods. Now starting off with these front cannons here, they're gonna be ridiculously easy to fix. The parts you are gonna need for this mod is this part here and this one here. What you're gonna to wanna to do with those parts once you have them is first pop off this stud shooter right here. You're gonna take off this entire plate section here and then pop the stud shooter off the back there like so. Attach your clip piece like this and then attach this modified piece right here like so facing forward. Then reattach this whole side panel and voila. Now moving to the back of the model, what we're gonna to wanna to do for starters is just pop this entire cannon assembly off and then pop this entire back hinge off. Now for the cannon mod, what you're going to want to do is pretty much take this entire cannon structure here apart. Just pretty much take all these jumper tiles off, take this completely apart. And then especially you're going to want to take off this modified plate right here. Because this modified plate is actually inhibiting the cannon from actually turning a full 360 degrees. But you can actually leave this one by two translucent red plate here. Now the parts you're going to need for the cannon mod are being shown on screen right now. And all you have to do is follow along with the video. Before we put the model all back together, we're going to move on to this back hatch here. What you're going to want to do is take six one by one tiles, take off this little top part here. This will just make it easier to place the tiles on and then place them on these exposed studs. This will kind of finish off the rest of the back of the hatch here. And now we finally reached the worst doorway ever. It may be perfect for Ewoks, but Stormtroopers are always going to be bumping their heads on the way in. And trust me, they've already got it hard enough with regular doorways. Now in order to mod one of the doors, what you're going to need are two light bluish gray studs, two 1x1 one one plates in black, a single 1x2 plate also in black, an elbow plate also in black, and finally, one two by two plate in light bluish gray. Now you will have to double this part number in order to modify both of the doors. Now the first step in modding the doorways here is you're gonna to wanna to take off pretty much the entire roof here. Once you remove the roof piece here, what you're gonna to wanna to do is pretty much take off those arch pieces and pretty much get rid of them. They're completely useless to us and will only inhibit the doorway. Then we're going to want to go back to those roof plates here and then take off these modified sort of L-shaped plates here. You're going to want to remove those and underneath on those 1x4 dark bluish gray tiles, you're going to want to place the two 2x2 light bluish gray plates. 
Finally, just reattach the entire roof panels back on to the rest of the model. And with all the mods in place, here is your new Imperial Armored Marauder. And I'm really happy with how display friendly this set is. Beforehand, you really had the very obvious play features of the stud shooters kind of sticking out at odd angles and looking really poor, especially with that cannon on the back. But now with the new brick built cannons, especially on the back, it looks so much more realistic and like the actual Imperial Armored Marauder that we see in the show. The cannons now have the full mobility of moving up and down and being able to do the full 360 there. I also like how the back looks just a little bit more armored with those one by one tiles there. And then of course the front cannons look really smooth and very accurate to what you see in the show. They're very tucked away and not as obvious as the stud shooters were. And of course the big one here, the doorways. It's much easier to put a stormtrooper through there than it was before. Beforehand, you really just kind of had to throw the stormtrooper in there sideways. Now you can really easily just fit it in through that doorway there. But what do you think? Leave your thoughts and questions down in the comment section down below. I really do look forward to reading them. And be sure you subscribe because I look forward to seeing you in the next LEGO video. But until I see you next, keep on building everyone.